This one's going to be on ebook convert is a terminal app that's actually part of the Calibre program. Uh, so this is the front end to it and if you don't know what Calibre is, it's basically a tool to convert to ebooks like ePubs or PDF or something like that. Uh, you can do that mainly for devices like, you know, Kindle, um, or the Sony Reader and the Nook and all that. So that's what you can use there. But we're going to use the terminal for this. Uh, let's say if you want to write a script or you want to do something quickly, you can do it from here. Okay. So you start out by using ebook convert. And they support a lot of formats. So some examples is PDF. Let's say you want to convert this PDF here to um, an EPUB. All right. So to do this, uh, we have our um, program and this is our input. And now we're going to do our output. So the output is going to be whatever you want to call it. Like uh, we're going to call this, um, I don't know, we'll call it pocket. Okay. Dot. And then, you know, the, the, the format you want to go to. So EPUB. Okay. And it should take like a, you know, a couple of minutes here. And basically that's it. We have our EPUB here. You know, you can actually look through it here using this uh, ebook viewer that they have. Uh, see, there's a Ubuntu Pocket Guy. All the text here. You can actually load up this program, I mean this file here, into your devices and read it from there. So that's what it does, okay? Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, so this is our standard um, uh, it was at the uh, commands here. So the program, the input, the output. Now you can actually add some options. So if, let's say you don't want any images. Okay. So dash dash no uh, images, and I'll get rid of it. So let me give it a new name like Pocket Two or something, so you can see the difference. All right, so it's done. Now we have this one. So before we had that stupid tree with the Ubuntu logo on it, or whatever. Now it doesn't have any pictures at all. Okay. So there's some of the options you can look at uh, that I'll show you in a minute, but that's what you can do there. And all these other ones, you don't actually have to, you know, convert to just EPUBs. You can do like other formats. So I'll give you another example: EPUB convert. So we have our text file here. We're gonna use that text file. And uh, let's see here, our text file. Uh, if you don't want to like give it a new name, you want to use the same name, it's just a different extension. You can just uh, skip re renaming it. Just put dot and then the extension that you want. Let's say we want to uh, do PDF, okay? And uh, it'll fill in the same name, it's just that it'll come out in the PDF only. So you don't have to waste time, you know, naming it something else. See, it's the same name, it's just that now it's in PDF. And, and there you go, you have your PDF here. Not a big deal. Uh, and now I get to the comics, which is what I usually use it for. So, for example, we to do the same thing with a book convert, and I'm going to do the Naruto one. Oops, that's not it. Naruto. There you go. CBZ file. And let's say uh, I want the same name, but uh, in uh, EPUB. Okay. So dot EPUB. And it should convert it. Uh, this will probably take a little bit longer because this is in the images. So we'll wait here. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. We have our EPUB here. And this is our the mangas. Right, you can actually um, look at this, load this up on your devices, and, uh, and read it from there. Now they do have some options to, um, I guess, uh, put it for your devices, but I don't know. I didn't see any difference uh, in my opinion. So you put in uh, dash dash uh, output uh, profile, and then you say, um, you know, whatever your device is. I have a Sony, so I put Sony. And let's say give this a new name or something. Let's see, Naruto. Uh, new. All right. Anyways, what the hell? There you go. We'll do that one. 
And this one actually, um, let me see what it says here for our devices. So, uh, no, this one's not the one. Comics is the one. Comics to EPUB right here. Oh, okay, so we did the uh, output profile. And they have some, you know, profile for your devices, like, uh, like I said, Sony Reader. Uh, just depends on what you have. You have a Kindle or Kindle DX, you can use that. Uh, personally, I didn't see any difference. You know, it looks the same. I tried like three or four different uh, types. But if you want to try it, uh, maybe it's better for your devices. I have a Sony, so maybe that's not that great. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to try it. There you go. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't want to say any more. But, um, oh yeah, as far as for, um, uh, what's it, CBR files, I just did CBZ, okay, that's like WinZip format. CBR files, uh, you actually have to download the one in their website. That's the only way you get CBR files to work. Uh, for everything else, you can use the one in Ubuntu. If you never use WinRAR files or uh, CBR files for comics, then uh, you don't have to download from their website, okay. Otherwise, if you use that format, you have to. Uh, so, and those are not the only ones that this is, they support. You can actually use some other ones like CHM, uh, what's it, Comics here, FB2, HTML, Lit formats, uh, LRF formats, which is Sony uh, formats, the proprietary one, um, blah, blah, blah. Just go here and read it if you want to do it. And you want some more extra options like at the end. Uh, you can actually look at some of these one right here. You know, some of these, uh, I don't know what they have here. Extractions, don't split the pages, and, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much it. That's how you would use that if you want to actually use it for a script or something. Really convenient. Instead of using the GUI, I don't really like the GUI because I didn't like the way they organize it. Um, so that's it for ebook convert. Try it out if you need to.